Hello, Gemini. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today. Thank you for tuning in again, my friends. I want to let you know uh, I draw cards to see who's coming up. This is the amazing Gemini card right there in this uh, very cool Oracle deck I found. Love the twins right there, huh? Crown chakras wide open. I love it. I love it, my Gemini friends. I want to thank you guys for all of your likes, all of your subscribes. You guys are absolutely amazing. All of your fun comments. Oh my goodness, keep them coming. Thank you so much for them. Those of you that bless me with donations, thank you. Many of you, uh, Gemini, give. Thank you very much for that. And uh, especially thank you for all the uh, Gemini friends of mine that reached out for private readings. Um, definitely enjoy meeting each and every one of you personally. These readings right here will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, for the month of June 2018. For love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. Work. Family, home, you know it. we got busy lives, a lot of things going on in our worlds. I'm not the only tarot card reader here, so read these along with me. Uh, those of us that know and love the tarot know that these generals, if they resonate with you, to run with them. And if they don't, what are we going to do with it? That's right, we're going to throw it out. That's right. All my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. Love you guys. I think it's smart for you to look and see what your loved ones could possibly be up to. That's what tarot's about, is it not? Tarot's supposed to be fun, and life's supposed to be fun. So let's have some fun with this tarot reading here. Lastly, I want to say, if you'd like a personal reading with me, all that information's down below in the description area. Let me know if you prefer a phone call or a video, and we will go from there. Thank you again, all my friends. All right, let's play some tarot cards here. Have been shuffling your cards for a while here, Gemini. Huh? We're going to go with that right there. Let's tune in here. Hey, tarot, hey, love team. Gemini is here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help Gemini hear what they need to hear. Help me see what I need to see right here. Let's take all these beautiful pictures. Let's get a nice, clear, factual, honest story for my Gemini friends. Thank you so very much for that, love team. Cannot do this without you. I appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Gemini, cutting the deck. Ace of Swords, right in the middle of the Celtic cross, the heartbeat. Ooh, truth, clarity coming in for my Gemini friends. From the divine, this is the hand of the divine handing you that sword, Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, victory. It is a sword of peace, but yet it is sharp and it is able to cut things off that are no longer serving you for your highest good. I mean, I'm looking at that crown right there, you know. Integrity, you know. Let's see where this goes, Gemini. Up or down? Yeah, there it is right there. Three of swords right there. Oh, heartbreak. Somebody got some truth about something. Three of swords right here. You know, it's that dreaded three. Could be that uh, old third party relationship thing. Right there in the middle of your world. Heartbreaker. Soul shaker right there. One thing about three of swords is it's very painful. And when it comes up, you know what I'm gonna do right here, Gemini, don't you? Let's shake them out. Let's get these out. Ready? Here we go. Out! Out, out, yeah, out. Three of swords right there. Let's step up into some truth and clarity. Hmm? Integrity. I like this right here. Bottom of the bottom of the 
deck right there. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. You know, the dream right there. Quintessential universal dream. A loving couple. Wisdom of the years. Babies running in the yard. Doggies. Loyalty. Ten of Pentacles, you know. Money. Money in the bank, you know. The dream right there in your distant past, you know. Definitely been, had a dream. Three of swords in the middle right here. And truth coming in about this situation. Ten can be a completion of a cycle. Especially with what I'm looking at right here. Let's see where the spread goes from here, Gemini. Yeah. Five of swords in the recent past. Right there by three of swords. Definitely not my favorite card. It's a card of manipulation, control. Possible narcissistic activities from somebody around you. Definitely want somebody treating you right. You know, somebody that you had great hopes. Ten of Pentacles right here. Five of Swords talks about, well, it shows this guy right here up in the front of the card. He laid in wait for these two guys back here. He had his armor on, and he went and he stole all their swords from them. And he just has this little pompous look on his face like, huh? You know. And in life, if we find ourselves in this position, where we're either in the front of the card or in the back of the card, I myself choose to be up in the front of the card. Now, I don't need swords because I attempt to walk in love in my life. But that don't mean you get to come in here and use me, abuse me, take me for granted, cheat on me. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. Because love's supposed to go like this. Love out, love in. Love out, love in. And if you're playing with somebody and they're just pulling all that amazing Gemini energy off of you, you know. They're being childish, then it's time to tell them to take time out. Go over there in a the little time out chair and take time out because you don't know how to play with me right. You don't know how to love me right. I'm going to get some healthy selfishness in my life and I'm going to do what's best for me. Yeah, I'm going to love myself first. Crown your spread right here is the strength card. Major Arcana, major life force card. It is Leo. May mean something to you, may not. Uh, definitely, you know, talks about taming that beast. Shows the lady in the white right there with that lion right there. The infinity symbol up above them all. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine right there. No doubt about it. Um, definitely shows me with this spread right here, you know, the polarity differences in the two. One definitely works with these upper chakras, whereas the other one works with the lower chakras down here. Definitely um, strength from the universe. You know, it's about taming that beast within you. Doing that inner work. Learning these life lessons that you've learned right here. But strength from the universe, you know. And with this ace of swords right here. Clarity and truth. Strength to cut things off that are no longer serving you for your highest good. No matter how good it looked at one time. It's really what I'm seeing here, my friends. Immediate future. Still. You know, <laughs> Gemini right there, immediate future. Four of Cups, you know, it is this card of the reevaluation. Shows him sitting under that old oak tree right there with the three cups, you know. The cups always talk about love and emotions. Past, present, and projected future. Not one, none of it. Not even that magic golden cup floating up behind him right there with the hand of the divine. 
Nope, not paying attention to none of that right now. Thank you very much. Kind of uh, bored with the situation, to say the least. You know, I'm going to do what's best for me, that's for sure. I'm tired of the heartache, heartbreak that's coming in here. I'm tired of these old polarity differences between the two of us. I'm just going to go ahead and receive my strength from the universe and just take a chill pill right here under my little shade tree. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah. Here you go right here. The Knight of Pentacles, how you see yourself. Uh, many of you may be dealing with an earth sign. We do have earth, air, fire, water. It's all here. Uh, many of you may be in dealing with an earth sign, you know, that had that slow moving offer for you, Gemini. You know, this thing's just been dragging on here, you know. Dragging on, you know. I'm giving you the promise right there, you know, of the Ten of Pentacles right here. You know, you know. Let's see where this goes. Well, there it is right there, huh? High Priest is showing up for you right here. She's all about, you know, following your intuition in this situation. You know, because this guy right here, I got to tell you, this guy right here, this Knight of Pentacles, he always gets what he wants, Gemini. Because he's, you know, slow and steady, one step at a time. You can see all the gold all over his horse. Because he gets what he wants. Yeah. I'm talking about that because of the high priestess that's up above it. The, you know, the weather here. Exterior influence. She's all about using your intuition. Psychic abilities. She is the dreamer right here, you know. The dream right here, Ten of Pentacles, slow movement towards it, reevaluation, not sure if I want it anymore. Um, because maybe uh, she found out some secrets. You know, she's all about the secrets right here. Maybe Jim and I found out some secrets. It's really what I'm feeling right here. And it's just kind of like taking a break. Wait a minute. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly, whoa. Let's see where this goes, Gemini. Yeah. Eight of Swords. All up in the head. I say our signs, I can say that because I'm Aquarius. We can get all up in our head. You know. Feeling trapped. But truly, the only place we really are trapped, my Gemini friends, is in the mind. Hmm? Take this, go get out there in nature for a minute. Sit down under a tree, for real, in the 3D, you know. Talk to your angels. Hmm? Talk to the divine about this situation. Because this is a card of being all up in your head. Feeling trapped, but she's not really trapped. I mean, she could get out of there anytime she wants. She could back up on those swords right there and cut those loose binds off, pull that blindfold off, and get back up there to that castle, that high vibration world where she rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely have the universe with you right here with the strength card crowning your spread. This guy, you know... He always gets what he wants. I'm telling you that. Use your intuition right here. Set your boundaries up though. Five of swords and three of swords. <sighs> Clarity and truth. Able to cut it off. Let's see what's coming out right here. There it is right there, Gemini. Wow. Woo. Many of you may be letting this situation go. Many of you may. Very much so. World card right here for you. Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. World card showed up for you in the midst of all of this mayhem. This is the completion of cycles, old cycles, that have been going on out of alignment for years possibly, coming to an end. Gemini seeing themselves slap up in the middle of their world, seeing the world as their oyster. Thank you very much. New cycles coming in for you. Mm, love it, love it. Has all four fixed 
zodiac signs on this card. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo are all represented by this card right here. The other major arcana that we have on the board is Cancer, Pisces, and Leo again right here. Whoo! Wow. Waiting for a slow-moving offer that just may seem like it's never coming with that. Eight of Swords right there. Ace of Swords right in the middle. Shing! Thinking about it right now, or are you not, Gemini? Thinking about shing! Because we are so ready for new cycles to come in. You know. Wow. Wow. World card. There could be somebody that you know Feel this right here that's at a distance from you, my friend, right here. You know, Eight of Swords right here. You know, she's not gagged. There may be some communication, you know. Yeah, interesting spread right here. Woo, love it for you, Gemini. I love the world card, man, coming out for you right there. Here we go, Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck right here, it's fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right there, my queen of wands. She is uh, the life of the party. Party doesn't start until she shows up, huh? Somebody very good looking. Somebody that's hard to catch. Because they know they're good looking. They know they're the life of the party. She got that little black cat right there. May have put a spell on you, huh, Gemini? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Weather over the whole thing right here. Maybe playing with a fire sign right here. Lots of fire. We got all elements all over this board. They may have earth in their chart, fire in their chart, air in their chart. You may be just letting it go. Letting it go. Definitely thinking about it right now. Gemini. Yeah. Definitely thinking about it. They're good. This is not hard to let go. I'm just going to go ahead and just tell you this is hard. This is, this, this is not hard to let go at all. At all. Moon card. Yeah, definitely. Oh, there it is right there. I'm going to go three down. Moon card right here. Cancer Pisces again. This is that card of smoke and mirrors following somebody or something that's intriguing to you or you have been down that path of the enchanted evening, huh? Wow, smoke and mirrors, deception, five of swords, eight of swords, you know, reevaluating the whole thing on somebody that's hard to catch right here. Hard to catch. Hmm? Strength from the universe because there's a new cycle coming in for you, Gemini. New cycle coming in for you. Use your intuition. Yeah, you know it's true. Something new. I'm sure you can feel it coming in for you. Because one thing's for sure, I don't see you letting go of this dream. Yeah. May not be with this person anymore, but you're holding on to that dream right there. Because Ten of Swords right here. Completion of a cycle right here. Wow. Threes. And the ten right there, ten swords in the back, left for dead on the beach, but a new day dawning for you. New day dawning for you. Many may just be leaving a situation behind. Like I said, this kind of situation right here, if somebody's making you feel like this, that ain't hard to leave behind. That ain't hard to leave behind. Yeah. If somebody's making you feel like this, that ain't hard to leave behind. That ain't hard to leave behind. Here we go. Shake them out. Ready? Second time. Out, 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 out. Whew, Gemini. Let's play uh, some Romance Angels on top of this new, <laughs> the world card coming in for you. Wow. Wow. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Strength from the universe. Strength from the universe. Wow. Always get what you want. Right there. Wow. Love this for you right here. Hey, Romance Angels. Let's do three cards for Gemini. Thank you very much. Could line up with this spread. 
clarity, advice, all of that fun stuff. Thank you very much. Ooh, like I said, there may be somebody at a distance right here. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I'm telling you, I felt that. But this world card came up right here. Old cycles ending, new cycles beginning for you, Gemini. I love it. Romantic feelings. Ooh, I love it. You know, follow your intuition here. Yeah, yeah. Peace be still. The divine's got something for you out there. It ain't down that smoky, it's not down this road. Huh? That's what's down this road. Right there. Romantic feelings. Woo! Love it, Gemini. Here we go. Two more for Gemini, please. Worth waiting for. Yeah, worth waiting for. Wow. Divine timing is at work in your love life right here. <laughs> Ooh, something you may have been looking at for a while. Slow moving. Yeah, could lead to Ten of Pentacles right here with the world card. I like it for you, Gemini. Many of you are going to let something go and it's no longer serving you to your highest good. Here's your sword right here. Here's your sword. Sing! <laughs> Jimmy! Yeah, baby, one more for Gemini, please. Thank you. Flirt, there you go. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Wow, what fun. Let's do one major on top of this for my Gemini friends, please. Thank you, Tara. One major, one overall. Thank you very much. Emperor right here. Many of you may have been dealing with an Aries. It's Aries seated in his power. It's somebody you know that's got some serious control issues right here. That's why I'm going with that. Uh, doesn't have to be an Aries. I love Aries. This is just Aries seated in his power right here. This is somebody that's got some control issues. Uh, five of swords right there. Three of swords. Ten of swords. All these swords. Who smoke and mirrors, huh? Yeah, enough's enough. Enough's enough, huh, Gemini? Let's go out and get our Ten of Pentacles. Let's allow this cycle to end in a new cycle to begin with you, my friends. I love it because there is something wonderful out there for you. Romantic feelings, flirt, and divine timing worth waiting for. Wow. Love it, Gemini. Hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. Thank you for visiting one more time, my friends. Namaste, love and light. I'll be talking to you soon, Gemini. Bye for now.